it is, it is a, a, a new component in the sense that they were the first one who actually showed uh, it could be built. Uh, but it was based on uh, a paper that I published exactly 37 years earlier, uh, which I produced, uh, which I published as uh, a theoretical prediction. Uh, I, I use what's called uh, axiomatic approach, something like Aristotle. You know, uh, uh, many years ago, you you postulate some some new idea uh, because it is logical, but it's uh, but in this case, it, it took 37 years before uh, HP was able to actually show that it, it, it actually exists, and and it uh, has led to a great deal of interest because uh, it has important applications in in computers. Several ways. Uh, the the most immediate way is uh, as a source of uh, what's called non-volatile memory. And uh, as, as, as you uh, all know, in the morning, every morning, you t to turn on the computer, you wait five minutes before it boots up. And that, that's because uh, the, the, the computer has, does not have non-volatile memory. So when you remove the power at, uh, and go to sleep, everything disappears. And so in the morning, you turn on, the thing has to be loaded again. Uh, with memory store, uh, this whole thing would, would be already permanent. In, 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 and you can, in fact, be, uh, so, when, uh, so when you wake up in the morning, you turn on power, you don't wait immediately. It, it works. And even more than that, let's say you were writing a, a, a long a novel or something, and then your friend called an emergency, asked you to come right away. You didn't even have time to to, to store it and, and to, uh, to save it, but you don't, it doesn't matter. You just turn it off, you come back, turn it on, it, it will begin where you left. You know, it, it, another thing has, will disappear. So, so that's the immediate reason why there's so much uh, interest. The people were estimating in about, by about 1210, this will be a $150 billion industry. You know, that's the main reason why it would change computers. Oh, I, I, HP was, was uh, predicting that in, in five years uh, there, there, there will be uh, uh, mem memory stores uh, in, 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 uh, in computers. You need something very, very small, uh, you know. And, and so, so the memory store is the first uh, candidate that will make this possible. And this would be very different because uh, all of the computer you, we have today uh, from the PC, your PC, to the supercomputer, or even to the little computer in a, in a doll, in, on a toy. They all follow the same architecture. It's called the von Neumann architecture. And it, it is completely different from how our brain works. So a neuromorphic computer is a different architecture. Completely. The architecture is almost like the brain. It's made of, made of neurons and synapses. And uh, so we know that because we know the anatomy. But but uh, how to build the machine with that kind of complexity uh, was, had not been possible before. So now, uh, uh, with the SP technology, this is possible. In order to make it widely available, like what, when we buy PC, it costs only a few hundred dollars, uh, we, I think 20 years, probably, because it takes many years to, to, to invest money to create technology. But, but for the first time, it is, not, it is possible. Well, I think, I th I think uh, uh, once it becomes uh, available commercially, uh, it, 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 it will, it's a matter of economics. When people realize that, uh, that that's the, the only you know, way to make it um, more functional, better, they will have to accept it. It's, it's, it's a matter of economics. Uh, you know, whether they like it or not, I think eventually it, 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 this is what the market is. If, if you have a better product, people will use it.